Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix low text HTML ratio in WordPress. So what it is, uh, it's the amount of text compared to the, the HTML code on our web page. And basically, if you have a large ratio, which means you have a large amount of HTML code compared to the text characters. So the good ratio would be between 25 and 70 percent. And the steps to make it the ratio higher um, would be first of all to place your CSS and JavaScript in separate files um, instead of using inline code so for example this is the CSS file um, which is separate from JavaScript and now you will need to create a separate CSS and JavaScript files in order to make them separate um, you want to create two new files in your project directory which are looking like so and they should look something like so um, move inline css to the css file so this is the original html which has all of these head meta style um, codes and the updated style uh, CSS would look something like so, which is really small and basically you need to use body and uh, only this one basically and not all of these. So this is how it should look like. The same goes with JavaScript. You need to move the inline to the JavaScript file. So this is HTML again and this is JavaScript, a separate file. And now you will need to link your JavaScript files in your HTML. So you need to update your HTML file uh, to link newly created files, CSS and JS. And that's how it should look like overall. Now, um, your project directory should look something like so. The project index HTML style CSS and scripts JS. Uh, on your bash now the second step uh, would be to validate your html code using w3 um, html validator so i would use this one maybe and basically you need to enter your um address there so you're going to open that validator right there uh, after that, you're going to enter your URL and submit for validation. Just like so. And then you're going to click check. And now you will see all of these. Here it is an error. You can also go ahead and uh, validate by file upload or direct input. It's your choice. Uh, I would maybe suggest URL because it's easier. And that's basically it. Now what you need to do another step would be another step is to remove any unnecessary html elements that do not contribute uh, to displaying the page so unnecessary elements of html would be which do not contribute to the visual presentation of the page are not used for styling layout or interactivity are left over from previous versions or debugging processes so make sure to check them out and the examples would be like unused div or span tags. I'm just going to show you in a second. Commented out code, which you need to remove, and also redundant tags, which do not affect the display. So you want to carefully review your HTML structure uh, to the identify the elements. So, for example, there is this div file, which does not really contribute, and you may want to remove it and now of course we need to identify and remove any commented out code uh, like html css and javascript code that do not lo longer need it and basically this reduces the clutter and improves the readability and of course uh, improves the text html ratio so this is how it should look like in the end you may want to um, stop this video and look for edit and basically this is the summary uh, if this video helps you in any way please leave a like subscribe to this channel and i will see you next time bye